Yo, with the birth of Rise of the Ronin, we receive a brand new eclectic open world game that is a love letter to Ghost of Tsushima. But the disrespect? The disrespect? <laughs> Honestly, feel like this game is gonna be overshadowed. Perfectly stated, Shadi. First thing we're gonna do is complete the story, complete all side quests and gather all of the collectibles, and lastly, complete Midnight Difficulty. This game has 50 new trophies and nothing is missable. So it's time to unsheath my katana and slice this platinum trophy. Let's go. <sighs> A brand new game. So we're presented with three different difficulty selections. Dawn, Dusk, and Twilight. We're gonna go ahead and try Twilight. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts. In the late 1800s, tensions boiled <laughs> over between the Shogun and the villagers of Edo, which is modern day Tokyo. So the Caruso clan, also known as the Veiled Edge, was formed in order to rebel against the Shogun. But the Shogun fought back. Duh. During this unfortunate event, two children witnessed their parents being slayed and slaughtered until Granny came to the rescue, aka the Bladesmith. Hey, hey, Shox, that's us. We're twins. Right. So she took us in and taught us everything she knows. It wasn't until our first assignment where she decided to test us. Next, you will fight me. I will face the <laughs> Enough training for now. Granny's impressed. She then tasked us with infiltrating a ship that belonged to the United States Navy. We're then to acquire a document detailing a possible trade treaty between the United States and Japan. So we boarded the ship, we slaughtered every single sailor in there, we found the document, and we encountered our first boss fight, Commodore Matthew Perry. We finally defeated Matthew Perry after 30 minutes of torturous pain, but it wasn't even gonna matter. We encountered our second boss fight of the game, the Blue Demon. And that's when we found out that I'm still a piece of garbage. In defeat, we have to select one twin to live on and complete the mission. Yeah, it took you two minutes and 32 seconds to select it. It's true, but in the end, we decided to do the honorable thing and let our sister live. So one morning we woke up from a bad dream and had an epiphany. We realized that our brother might still be alive, so we decided to seek him out. However, the Shogunate had other plans. He sent his assassins to our village, so we slayed him. After helping Granny defeat the Shogunate assassins, she questioned us on our motive. She already knew that we were about to go after our brother, which was against the code, so it was a battle to the death. Unfortunately, we have to put Granny to rest. You killed Granny. You're a masterless samurai. That is the only way that you can be V. We finally cleared the prologue and got our first trophy. A fine trophy. So now our task is to get to Yokohama, but on the way there we ran into an eccentric Ronin and helped him with the favor. So now he's our ally. Daddy, smart moves, I must say. So it turns out that our new ally is also headed to Yokohama. However, we're gonna need a permit, and I think he knows exactly where to find it. The head of the gang of rogues that's occupying the local magistrate's house. So we infiltrated the hideout, sliced up some sushi for me and the homie, and had our third boss fight. Gonzo. After defeating Gonzo, we grabbed the permits and got a trophy for establishing our first bond. 
So we finally get to Yokohama and get a glimpse of the Shogunate, also known as the Red Demon. This soul is mine, Shots, that's a promise. We go to meet up with the Ryoma at the Pleasure District in Yoko and we're introduced to Taka Murayama. Now she actually has information that can help us find our brother, but of course we have to do a favor for her first. So we take pictures of people around the Pleasure District of Yoko until a drunken samurai stumbles upon us and challenges us to a fight. <laughs> Bro thinks he's a drunken master! <laughs> Easy money. So it turns out that this drunken master is actually Ryoma's ally. But that's another story. We talk to Taka and she tells us that a samurai had just passed through there with a demon claw for her left hand. Wake the f up, samurai. Not Johnny Silverhand. She also lets us know that he's actually the bodyguard of a Townsend Harris, the United States' first consul to Japan. Later on, the drunken master Katsura and the homie Genzui lets us know that they're preparing to assassinate Townsend Harris. So if our brother is actually the samurai with the demon claw, that'll be two birds with one stone. So we infiltrated the US consulate, we created and cooked some American sushi, and we found Townsend Harris. Hold on, wait, it can't be. It is me, I have returned to kill me. Round one. So our blade twin makes a swift getaway and we get a trophy for finding out that he's still alive. I'll have my revenge shots in this life or the next one. Now due to this failed assassination attempt against Townsend Harris, the treaty was signed and this led to a multitude of things. So now we're tasked with finding our brother once again, helping Ryoma and the homies find their master Shoin and closing the deal with Taka Murayama. So we meet up with the Yukichi Fukuzawa who agrees to help us find Harris as he knows where he's hiding out. And if we know anything from the last time, he definitely has a bodyguard. However, this time, he's being bodyguarded by the foreign swordsman. Once we defeated the swordsman, there was clearly a truce between me and Harris. He told us that the only thing that he knew about our brother was that the British was requesting his services. Here we go again. Let's shift our focus to Master Showing. He's held in a prison complex with plenty of guards. So we smash every single one of them, even the crusher. All to find out that Master Showin doesn't even want to leave. Since that was a dead end, we link back up with Ryoma and head to Ido to help them find Master Shoin. But unfortunately, we arrived too late. Rise as one. Rest in peace, Master Shoin. Hopefully, Takamuriyama has some good news for us since everything has been failing. So we take her on a date and we take a picture of her and she gives us a trophy. Shortly after, the blue demon caught up to her, and things didn't go well. Duh. Now this being the ending result, I here vow my life to avenge you, Takamuriyama, through the blue demon and the red one.
dead are satisfied. <laughs> well done. What? That was absolute insanity. Wow. We finally made it to chapter two. They've introduced to us a new feature called the Testament of Soul. It's fancy talk for chapter selection. Okay, I guess. But before we left back to Yoko, we got trophies for redesigning the longhouse and giving our first gift. So we finally get back to Yoko and the first thing I wanted to do is go ahead and clear out the map. In the process, we got trophies for earning our first completion reward. Achieving our first level 3 area bond and conducting technology development 15 times. Hey Shucks, don't forget your basics! You're right. So I wanted to go ahead and get some training completed before heading back to Edo. We then received trophies for receiving the highest rank, which is Master in Horseback Archery, Firearms Training, Gliding Training, and most importantly, the dojo. So there's two different ways to use the Testament of Soul. Firstly, you can head back to a location and complete all missed events on a map, which is where I got a trophy for assassinating 100 enemies. Or you can travel through time and get a trophy for completing a mission. I also received a trophy for completing a mission without any allies. All right, so we're back in Edo. Time to get down to brass tacks. The first thing I wanted to do was upgrade. So we got a trophy for equipping four pieces of the same armor set. Once again, we got a lead on our blade twin. Genzui and the homies were prepared to take out the British Embassy, which is ran by a General Rutherford Alcock. And just like last time, if we find him, that'll be two birds with one stone. So the Embassy was infiltrated and we found our brother. Round two, fight! boys later on that night to celebrate the victory well at least it was so in Genzui's eyes but my man still had the nerve to tell us to kill Kaisu Katsu come on man we're gonna have to keep an eye on him so we swung over to Kaisu Katsu's ship and attempted to assassinate him but he was just too strong Whoops. on a turn of events he convinced us that it would be quicker to fix it than to spend all your time overthrowing it He's, He's building a navy, navy to protect the Come villages on. of Edo. This, from this moment on, we pledge our loyalty to Kaisu Katsu. He then tasked us with recruiting all of the top warriors all over Edo. On the way to our first lead, we did get a trophy for saving 150,000 sen, which is the currency in this game. After recruiting, we reported back to Katsu and he rewarded us with a bit of information about our brother. He also entered us into a martial arts competition in front of the Shogun. So it's my time to shine. Tetsu Yamaoka eliminated. Outstanding. Deshu Takahashi eliminated. Impressive. Jigoro Kano annihilated. Give your respect.
tough, but it was actually at this moment that we learned that we're fighting the new Shogun. <laughs> you certainly showed me. No way! So after completing the competition, we wanted to take a break from the story and get back to the grind. So we got trophies for completing 50 random encounters, defeating 50 fugitives, and killing an enemy with every weapon type. And we also got trophies for achieving our first level 4 personal bond, Until next time. and completing a no-kill mission. We reported back to Kaishu Katsu and he wanted us to join the Rashigumi clan as they're supposed to be protecting the Shogun. So we headed over to Kyoto, we linked up with the Rashigumi clan and helped them clear the checkpoint. Now a strange phenomenon occurred as the Rushigumi and the Chosu clan came together to communize, celebratize, and enjoy this victory. Yo, 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 Shots, what in the world is going on? During the Shogun era, there were people that were against the Shogun and people that were for the Shogun. The anti-Shogunists wanted to preserve the traditional ways and values of their culture, while the pro-Shogunists wanted to embrace the ways of the Western world. Yo, Shots, appreciate it, man. Always, Shotty. So now we're presented with two options, anti-Shogunism or pro-Shogun. Organism. You already know, we sided with the pro, and we got a trophy for breaking the truce. And once Genzui heard word of this, it was a war. Don't you choose to stand in our way? With Genzui defeated, the region was overwhelmed by pro shogun forces. But we still had one more problem, our blades were in The Kyoto will be burnt and ashes. Back to that day. I think he'll be back, not after that ass whooping. And we finally get our 29th trophy after clearing chapter 2. So after all of that chaos, we left the Shinsengumi clan as they were preparing to go to war with the squad. So we arrived and neutralized. And ever since chapter 2, young Soji has been sick, but just keep that in mind. In defense to the Shinsengumi clan, it's best that the Satsuma forces and the Chosu clan align. So we headed over to the leader of the Satsuma force and he wanted to test his might. Test your might. Once he was defeated, we were able to create the alliance, granting us another trophy. Later on that night, we met up with Ryoma and he had an important letter for the Shogun. But what we didn't know is that there's always someone lurking. This is Ernest Sato. He's an interpreter from Great Britain. Apparently, he was a lover of the Japanese culture, but he was prepared to assassinate the Shogun. I got you, Shotty. Later on, we went to meet with Ryoma, but our blade twin got to him first. Now, fortunately, he was able to survive because we completed the four bond missions that Ryoma had available to us up to this point in the story. And for that, we got the Twilight Fencer Trophy. We also got a late popping trophy for mastering three combat styles. Now at this point of the story, tensions were boiling over between the Satsuma Chosu Alliance and the Shogunate. So from this confrontation birthed the Battle of the Toba Fushimi. Our has got a participation trophy. No, it's not. Well, I stole it from his trophy room. After the anti-shogunists won the battle, the shogunists retreated to Ito, and so did our blade twin. You don't know where I am. It was at this moment that Kaishu Katsu had an opportunity to create peace in Japan. Death. He's preparing a peace treaty between the clan alliances and the shogunists, Death. but I got a feeling that our blade twin is lurking in the shadows. Death. Death. Ha 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 ha!
After defeating our Blade Twin, the peace treaty was signed, and the fate of our brother is now in my hands. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. <laughs> And for these two events, we got two trophies. Wow, that was a really good story. It reminded me of Red Dead Redemption 2, where you have cowboys and outlaws clutching to the ways of the Wild West, and now you have samurais clutching to the ways of the Wild East. Huh? Gonna switch gears now. We still have two big tasks to complete, starting with the Friendly Neighborhood Ronin Trophy. Complete all Bond missions. Mind you, we have 58 of them. And on the other hand, we have the Social Climber Trophy. Take part in missions with all available allies. So there are 52 NPCs in this game, but we only need to complete 32 of them. Now during this side quest grind, there are plenty of opportunities to get trophies, starting with this one. Then we got a pretty cool trophy for flying off of one of the tallest temples in the game. We then got the Bell Vow Trophy, start your first romantic relationship. Like I said before, there are 52 characters in this game, so you have plenty to choose from. Just make sure to invest most of your resources into one. Don't be out here in the streets trying to save these. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Once again, we got the collectibles. Woohoo. First up, we got cats overall. Collect all cats, and we also have Sightseer. Complete all photography spots. Now, these two were pretty easy as I was collecting at the start and before I left each chapter. Blam, blam. We're finally down to our final two Bond missions. We need to save Soji Okita and Shinsaku Takasuji. Now, if you remember correctly, young Soji was the samurai who was sick in Chapter 2. So to get this trophy, you're going to need to complete two Bond missions that are only available in Chapter 3. So don't sweat it until you get there. Young Soji, save. We now need to save Shinsaku Takasuji. Now, if you're paying close attention, you would have seen him during the fight with young Soji. It's crazy how we have to save both of these guys. Anyhow, we had to go into the Testament of Soul in order for this bond mission to activate. Shinsaku Takasuji, save. Yes, now we finally got the Friendly Neighborhood Ronin Trophy. So next up, we got the Social Climber Trophy. This one was a little bit tricky as I had 32 allies unlocked, but the game doesn't tell you whether or not you've completed a mission with them. Yo, 32 allies, 16 missions, 16 fights with the Blade Twin. Done. All right, here we are again. So here's where the Platinum Grind got ugly. A jack of one trade is a master of all. We need to master one of the four stat types. Strength, Dexterity, Intellect, and Charm. Now, ever since Chapter 1, I've been upgrading my strength, so I wasn't about to switch now. However, after maxing out all area bonds, searching through all of the chests, and purchasing all of the treaties of strength from the official, I still didn't have enough points. Until I figured this out. Now there's three different hidden bosses in each region. That's nine bosses. So for each boss that you defeat, you will receive a reward called the Seven Military Classics. Each reward, you will get a bonus point applied to all of your stats. After defeating all nine bosses, I was well over the amount that I needed to get this trophy. Boom! Now we have the Cheater Beater Trophy. Catch five cheaters playing odds and evens. If I find you're cheating, you regret this. This one's simple. All you need is the Intimidate perk from the Strength skill tree. Now all we have to do is keep betting whether we win or lose until a purple screen comes up and select Tell on him five times. Wow, we only have four trophies left. What, like, what? Dude, wait, wait, did you power up? Cause you look like Super Saiyan right now. I feel Super Saiyan right now. Now two of these trophies are amongst the hardest trophies in this game. Tears of a Blue Demon, managed to beat the Blue Demon aboard the Black Ship, and Midnight Crossing, complete an optional Ronin mission with the Midnight difficulty setting enabled. Now before we get into this, I wanted to make a pit stop at the Blacksmith and upgrade everything. So we got a trophy for upgrading everything. Anything else? And we also got a trophy for bond transfer or something. Anything else? So let's get started with the Midnight Crossing trophy. I bet you're scared. Wait, where's Shawnee? He must still be butthurt from that brutality. No diddy. So I wanted to take it back where it all started. Gonzo. And surprisingly, it was quite easy. They call me the Black Demon. Yeah. 
After defeating Gonzo for a second time, we finally got the Midnight Crossing Trophy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, I knew you'd come around, shoddy. Tears of a blue demon. It's time to get our lick back and get it back in blood. And I ain't the same samurai. Tears of a Blue Demon Trophy, and also, the Gotham Platinum, baby, Rise of the Ronin. This is definitely one of the most underrated games of 2024, but I highly recommend you guys pick it up and play it and experience it for yourselves. The combat alone is top tier. I've never played a game with such diversity in weapons and fluidity in the combat. Having experienced everything in the game, I'm gonna have to give this game a rating of an 8.8. .8. Make no mistake, the game is great. Anyways, I appreciate you guys coming and vibing with the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, and I'm on to the next one. Peace. I may have been defeated, but I was...